Wow, you guys really love that old school long division of polynomials. Um, what if you had um a fancy way? Yeah, like ketchup, right? I'm talking about um maybe motor oil, synthetic motor oil? No, synthetic division. Yes. Um, here's our topic. Right. What do we need to do? We need to be dividing by special linear factors in order to use synthetic division. So let's talk about how we're going to get into this game. All right. Special linear factors. Yeah, something like these guys. Okay, this is not a special linear factor. Why? Because my, 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 my leading coefficient of my variable is not one. What makes a special linear factor? A special linear factor has coefficient one and degree one. An example of a special linear factor is x minus two. Okay, this is x minus c. Okay, what goes outside of our box? The opposite of c, or whatever is going to make our denominator zero. I'm ready for an example. Up here, yes. Am I dividing by a special linear factor? I am. So then, okay, zeros go outside of the box. What makes that denominator zero? Minus one. Zeros go on the outside. Coefficients go on the inside. Coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. Here we go. I'm going to put a 1, I'm going to put a 3, and I'm going to put a 2. Oh, this is actually long division without the actual um, coefficients, and we need our special linear factors. So then what do I first do? Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Minus 1 times a m 1 gets me a minus 1. Very nice. 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, minus 1 times 2 is a minus 2. Oh, and our remainder is 0. What does this mean? This means that x minus 1 is a factor of x squared plus 3x plus 2. You're going to be using something called the factor theorem to determine that. Yes, but that's neither here nor there. Where is it? Yes, we're taking one degree out of the numerator. It was a degree two. So now I want to write my answer as one degree less than two, which is one. X plus two is going to be the quotient of those two polynomials. And then what? Yeah. And a flag. Now I'm up here. Okay. Yes. Am I dividing by a special linear factor? Yes. So what goes on the outside? Zeros go on the outside. What's a zero? Anything that makes that polynomial zero. What's going to make this polynomial zero? One is. Okay. And uh -huh. a different color. Yeah. One is on the outside. What goes on the inside? My coefficients. Yes. A 1 goes in there, a 2 goes in there, a minus 3 goes in there, and a 12 goes in there. Okay. <clears throat> so then, I drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, you know, snoo, dun dun dun. Yeah, whatever. Um, that was my song with one of my ex-girlfriends. Yeah, and um, yeah, I went away, and um, I'm not going to finish that story. Anyway. She dropped me like it was hot. Oh, messed up, right? She was a horrible person. No, she wasn't, really. Um, yes, here's a one. This one times that one, put it there. That's a one. Two and one is three, tee hee. This one times that one, put it there. That's three, tee hee. Adam? Um, none. Yes, this one times that one, put it there. Zero. Oh, Adam and you got 12. Oh no, what does this mean? Let's go through and rewrite our quotients. Yes, I had degree three. This is going to take it down a notch. I wish you'd take it down a notch. Hey, whoa. Um, so instead of degree three, it's now going to be degree two. So then this is going to be x squared plus 3x plus, uh-oh, no constants. But I do have a remainder. And how do I write that? I write it remainder over divisor x minus one. Fun. And then what? You know. And a flower. And when I said I went away, I wasn't talking about like to the woohoo. Yeah, no, I had to go um, 
yeah, do some work somewhere else. Here we go. What makes this denominator zero? Two. Yes. So I put a two on the outside. And then I put the coefficients on the inside. I put a one. Then I put a zero. Why? Because I need a placeholder for my x to the third term. Yes. So zero x to the third plus zero x mm, squared minus one x plus two. Okay. Oh, I need placeholders on the outside, zeros, and then on this first one. Drop it like it's hot. There's a one. One times two is two. Very nice, Adam. Two. Two times two is four. Sure, Adam. Four. Two times four is eight. Great, Adam. That's a seven. Two times seven is 14. Adam, that's a 16. Okay, that's my remainder. I'm dividing by a linear factor. I need to take it down a notch. This is x to the third plus 2x squared plus 4 uh -huh, x plus 7 plus remainder 16 over divisor x minus 2. Uh huh. Look at that one. Oh. Yeah, I do think it's a hammer. Because it's hammer time? No, because we nailed it. Mm -hmm.